so hello everyone so in this video i'm going to teach you that how you can become the author of your own google doc onto google hacking database so as you can see i'm onto the google hacking database over here if you see there are a total 5840 entries of uh, sensitive docs which can you you which you can utilize for different different types of categories as you can see file containing juicy information uh, as I've chosen this a file containing usernames file web server detection vulnerable files vulnerable servers so different different types of categories are there for different different types of vulnerabilities or sensitive information that you can identify so you can also see that these are the authors which have reported these particular docs over here okay so you can also be the one wherein you can also report a docs over here onto this particular website and you can also become an author so let me just show you a couple of docs that i have reported first then i'm going to show you how you can report a doc and how you can basically uh, write a doc which is unique and not onto this particular website which is reported already by someone else okay so first uh, you just have to go to this filters after you click on this filter you will come over here onto the author filter just type the name of the author so let me just type my name Rohit Gautam and let's go to files containing juicy information or sensitive directories okay so as you can see over here i have given five entries for sensitive directories as you can see over here okay so let us not filter based on the category so let me just remove the category filter and now you may see a uh, total 11 docs that i have uploaded onto this particular website so let me just open this first one which is entitled dot index of my sql dot properties okay so you can see the google hacking database id has been assigned and the author name published on 2023 20 uh, what is the description this google doc gives us my sql properties and sensitive details of misconfigured servers if i just click on this then you may try to find you can see my sql server properties file in which there it exposes the sensitive details like username password or other type of juicy information okay so let me show you how i reported this particular doc so first thing first you have to identify a doc which is already not reported over here okay and that particular doc should should give you something which is a sensitive either sensitive information sensitive directory or logs or something like that okay so first you have to identify a doc which is not reported and it is sensitive so let's try to make a doc which contains some log files so let's say for example let's say apache.log okay so within we can see the apache log as you can see apache log I can see the Apache log over here. So let's see if this particular doc is being reported or not. Let's go back here. Go in. Let's first clear this. Let's go in quick search and paste it over here. Mm, all right. So this particular doc is not reported, which means this is a fresh doc. Okay. And through this particular doc, we can get sensitive information about targets. As you can see over here, the log size is. 48 kb so let me just show you the log in the logs we can see the username uh, i'm not sorry not the username but the ip addresses the get request that has been come from that particular ip address at that particular time so these are the logs which are revealing some of the sensitive information and this is actually a good dark that you can report it over here okay so uh, this is a doc which you can utilize and similarly you can make new docs okay so how to report docs now so i will show you the doc which i already showed you which was accepted it was index of mysql properties so the first thing that you have to do is you have to send a email to docs at the rate of sec.com okay this is the email that you have to shoot the email to note this particular note this email okay after that in your subject line should be the doc that you are going to report your name the description of the doc what does that doc do and in proof of concept you can report 
the you can attach the screenshot as a POC as you can see over here I have attached wherein I can see the username and password of that particular database I have reported one more screenshot which shows all the sensitive domains which are ex exposed to this particular doc okay so you can report it like this once they receive they will acknowledge you for the report that you have submitted and they will or basically do this manual check wherein if this doc is reported or not is it duplicate or unique if it is unique it will automatically be published onto this particular website and you can automatically become an author of a new doc okay so this process was very simple so you can follow the steps that i have told you just try to make a doc which gives you something sensitive sensitive information of a directory log or source code or credentials or sensitive files anything like that uh, verify your doc is not a duplicate and then you can send the doc to the team on the particular email that i have shown you so i hope you guys understood how you can become the owner of or the author of your own dark and contribute to the community thank you